A woman goes to her bedroom to change her clothes. Under the bed, a sad little creep hides. As she removes her knickers and throws them on the floor, the creep picks them up and gives them a sniff. He then does the same thing with her bra. The woman then puts her dressing gown on. The creep enjoys his moment under the bed. The woman then unconsciously hands him another treat, her skirt. The perv picks it up with haste to sniff it. Suddenly, her sister opens the door and says that dinner is ready. The young woman says that she's getting dressed for it. Her sister tells her to be quick about it and asks if she has seen Pedro. The young woman says that she really didn't. Her sister says that it's okay and that she'll be waiting for her in the kitchen. Her sister then leaves. The woman then looks down to pick up her clothes and realizes that they're gone. She wonders about what has happened to it. The pervert then decides to throw it back when she gets distracted looking for it. She looks back again and sees her clothes again. Worried, she says that she can't be having sight problems. She picks up her clothes, throws them on the bed, and leaves. The pervert then takes a chance to finally stop hiding. He gets up and sits on the bed. He picks up the clothes and continues to sniff them. He tells himself that Scylla's clothes smell great, very different from the ones from his scruffy wife. He throws the clothes on the bed and goes outside. Meanwhile, Scylla's sister is washing the dishes and waiting for her sister. Scylla approaches and greets her. Her sister tells her to have a seat because she's going to serve her in a bit. Outside, the young pervert carefully approaches, trying not to look very suspicious. He approaches her and asks if the food is ready. She says that it is, and she asks him where he has been. Her partner says that he was feeding the cows. The woman says that it's odd because she looked all over the farm and couldn't find him. She tells him to have a seat anyway. The man says that it's alright and sits at the table. He continues to perv at young Scylla. The following day, Pedro is up to the same old shenanigans, secretly sniffing Scylla's used clothes. He says that he dreams of having Scylla for at least one night. Suddenly, Scylla approaches him and catches him doing it. Pedro gets up and explains that he's sorry, but her clothes smell great. Scylla picks up her clothes, says that he's a pervert, and tells him to leave. Pedro says that he always wanted to have her by his side. Scylla asks what's wrong with him and reminds him that he's married to her sister. Pedro says that he knows, but he can't control his feelings. He asks her to sleep with him for at least one night. Scylla says that she doesn't know what to say about it. Pedro says that she just needs to say yes because he's ready to do what it takes to have her, even if it means giving away the farm. Scylla says that she's going to think about it and then tell him her decision. Pedro tells her to have a good think about it and leaves. Scylla sits down, feeling extremely nervous, and tries to think about a way to deal with the situation. Some time later, working on the farm, Pedro wonders if his sister-in-law is going to accept his proposal. He tells himself that she dresses and smells very well and that he would kill to have at least one night with her. He says that it must have been a curse to be in a situation like that. Meanwhile, Scylla approaches someone. Pedro keeps rambling about Scylla and saying to himself that he's sure she's going to accept. Scylla pokes her sister and says that she needs to tell her something very important. Her sister innocently says that she's lending her ears to her. Scylla reveals to her that Pedro made her an indecent proposal. Her sister asks what she's on about. Scylla says that she knows she's not going to believe her, but she wants her to see it with her own eyes, but Pedro made a pass on her. Her sister says that there's no way it happened. Scylla instructs her to follow her. One hour later, they wait at the designated location. Scylla tells her sister to wait there and follow her instructions. Her sister agrees. 
Scylla approaches Pedro, who impatiently waits for her. He asks himself if she's going to agree with his proposal. Scylla draws closer and says that she wants to talk. Pedro says that he's glad to see her there. She says that she thought about his offer and then made her decision. Pedro asks her about it. She says that she gave it some thought and decided to accept it. Pedro asks if she's being serious. She says that she does, but first she wanted to ask him something. Pedro says that, as he said earlier, he's ready to do what it takes, even if it means getting rid of the farm for a single night. Scylla asks if he's really sure he wants to dump her sister for a single night with her. Pedro says that her sister doesn't please him anymore and that he's really ready to do anything. Scylla says that it's fine, but before they go, she has a little surprise for him, something really spicy. Pedro says that she's naughty. She tells him to close his eyes and covers them with her hands. Scylla's sister approaches him and crosses her arms in front of him. Scylla tells him to open his eyes. Pedro opens his eyes with haste and gets a very nasty surprise. Very angry, his wife asks why he did that to her after all the love she gave him. She says that the worst thing is that it's her own sister. She tells him to leave because she doesn't want to see him anymore. The man says that there's no need to be angry because it was all a misunderstanding. He says that it was just a prank. His wife tells him to leave and tells him to make sure he doesn't bring anything away with him. Pedro calls Scylla a traitor. Scylla tells him to shut up and leave. He leaves. Scylla comforts her sister and says that that stupid bloke didn't deserve her. She says that she's sure she's going to find someone who's a lot better than him. Her sister says that it's really unbelievable that he has done that to her with her own sister after all she did for him. Her sister says that she also thinks it's unbelievable, but as a sister, she will be there for her. She then gives her a comforting hug. Infidelity, lies, and a lack of communication are love poisons. It takes bravery and acceptance to heal. An honest talk to let it all out and try to understand the causes is essential. Rebuilding might be possible, but it takes a lot of effort and commitment. Learn to let go of what hurts and open your heart to a better future. You're not alone on this path. Seek help and believe in the power of love to transform your relationships.